For I say unto you, I will not any more eat thereof until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And he took the cup and gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God shall come. And he took bread and gave thanks and break it and gave unto them saying, This is my body, which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. Likewise, also the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you. Luke 22, 16 through 20. Welcome to Philadelphia Christian Church, and we are grateful you are here with us. If this is your first time visiting with us, make yourself at home. And for those who are from out of state, please visit our Welcome Center in the foyer for a token of love to you. For our online viewers all over the world, thank you so much for joining us. We pray the presence of God would be in your home or wherever you are. Today is Communion Sunday, so join us as we remember the blood that was shed and the body that was broken for our sins. If it had not been for the Lord who died for us, where would we be today? This week is a regular week at Philadelphia with Monday through Friday, noonday prayer. Stop in during your lunch break. We have Bible study on Tuesday nights at 7 p.m. It is an awesome way to get the word during the week. School of Prayer will be at 6.15 p.m. on Thursday evening. Join us for corporate prayer and learn how to pray and stand in agreement with the saints. The Fire Ministry will meet at 7 p.m. on Thursday night with going deeper into the series, Putting Your Past Behind You. Your pain has a prize, but you must let go of those things that are behind you so that you can press on and receive what God has for you. The Fire Ministry is a great place where you will find out that you are not alone in your struggle. The Fire Ministry, Thursday nights at 7 p.m. Join us. Register now for this year's 2019 School of the Hebrews Conference coming to Washington, D.C. with Pastor Omar Tebow and special guest Bishop Danny Coleman. Join us for three days, May 31st through June 2nd, for one of the most anticipated conferences yet. Enjoy amazing worship and praise with Philadelphia Worship and Philadelphia Music Group, PMG, bringing music for the movement. To register and for more information, please visit schoolofthehebrews.com. Right now, it's time for the good news of the week. We would like to send a huge congratulations to our 2019 graduate, Makeda Lewis. She will be graduating on stage from Lafayette High School as one of the top 10% honors students in her class of 509 students. Michaela is a part of the National Honor Society, French Immersion, and the Academy of Health Careers at her school. After graduation, Michaela will be continuing her studies at LSU, where she will be majoring in pre-physical therapy. Congratulations, Michaela. Shout out to the Duga family. Three of their sons are graduating this year. John Elisha will graduate from LSU on May 11th. Jeremiah and Vinnie Jr. will graduate high school from Philadelphia Christian Academy on May 17th. And Mrs. Karen Duga will graduate with a master's degree in education from LSUS on May 10th. Wow, they are overwhelmed with joy and gratitude. And also, these pics were taken by their youngest son, James Wilson, of Two Piece Photography. Congratulations to the Duga family. For your good news to be featured on the Good News of the Week, please email to phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com. That's phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com. We must receive it by 3 p.m. on Thursdays to be featured on Sundays and Tuesdays announcements. Well, saints of God, those are your announcements. Stand to your feet right now. It's worship time. 